joining us. You missed Penn and Teller getting fooled. Maybe you can see it happen again with our next act. I started doing magic to get girls. As a teenager, I was bedeviled by insecurity. And I wondered uh, what would make the opposite sex admire me. Then a friend of mine made a toothpick disappear, and it totally freaked me out. And he showed me the method, and it seemed uh, doable. Playing around with illusions changed me. To perform takes confidence, so I had to find some inside me. I tried out for Fool Us because I met a famous magician, and he told me that I wasn't good enough to be on the show. So I worked hard on an original illusion, and amazingly, I'm here. I'm still terribly afraid at times. I constantly move between joy and self-doubt. Which will win out? <laughs> I guess we're about to see. Tonight, on Fool Us, I will hurl myself into the abyss. And hopefully my magic will catch me. Here with a randomly pre-selected host of the show is Dev Sherman. I feel like I'm standing in a, in a dream. An absolutely incredible dream. I can't believe that I get to show a magic trick in front of two of the greatest magicians alive. I can't, I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. I never thought that I was actually good enough to be here. Never. Never. That's because you're not good enough. You're just an ordinary magician. Look at your suit. There's a stain on your pocket square. Sorry about that. That's, that's the voice of my inner critic. Um, he gets really annoying and loud, and especially when I'm about to do magic, right? And sometimes, hold on. I just do that. No more stain. Thank you. Um, yeah, sometimes I can't keep him quiet. Um, so what I do is I draw. I draw symbols that have a magical effect on me, right? First I draw waves. Let me show you, let me show you what I draw. First I draw waves, can you see that? Yeah, perfect. <sighs> waves because they remind me to breathe, right? Like they rise and fall, they remind me to breathe in. <sighs> and breathe out. <sighs> oh. <laughs> That's fine. Thank you. Um, it calms me down, right? And then we draw a fish hook. <sighs> fish hook. Oh. A fish hook signifies strength oh. and determination. So every time I draw it, I feel stronger and more determined. And then finally, I draw the lotus. The lotus <sighs> signifies purity. <sighs> purity because it grows in these dark, dirty, muddy conditions, but it blooms into this beautiful flower. So it makes me feel like, even though my inner critic is clearly not very nice to me, I can still do beautiful magic. Like this. So we have one, two, three, four cards, and one of them has symbols on them. But if I wave, it's spread to two cards. If I wave again, on their own three. And one more time. One, two, three, four. Every other. One, two, three. That's not beautiful magic. It's only four cards. <sighs> Let's do more then. Let's do more. Why not, right? If not four, then more. All right, all it takes, all I have to do is spread. Take one of these, do a fancy thing, and wave. Do you want to wave as well? Me! Very magical. <laughs> nice, good job. <laughs> All right, everybody, breathe in. <sighs> let's try, let's try one more thing. Can you make a cup with your hands? Right, let's see, if I give the symbols, it doesn't work every time, but if I give the symbols a rub, they come off. Give them a shake, shake them in your hands. Shake them, yeah, nice, good shaking, well done. All right, so you've got the symbols in your hand, and I have a few more cards without any symbols on them. All right, have a look and just name any one of these. Uh, five of diamonds. Five of diamonds, perfect, all right. Think about the fish hook, 
and with strength and determination, throw the symbols onto the five of diamonds. One, two, three. <laughs> only one card, only one card has the symbols on them. And you named a specific card. What was it, the five of diamonds? Mm -hmm. And you just named it, right? Just named it. Yeah. Yeah. The five of, huh? I told you, I told you you couldn't do it. You don't belong here. Five of diamonds. Five of diamonds. Jeff Sherman, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I don't think you should ever listen to that voice again. Okay. I was really touched by how uh, how excited you are to perform in front of Penn and Teller. Yeah, I didn't even ever imagine I'd be here. My God, I can't believe it. So, I still can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what is your favorite performance ever besides this one? Oh, okay. Uh, so, I, when I was in university, I went to Nepal. Uh, with a bunch of other students. And I started showing magic to like a few kids over there. And they, were, they loved it. And I couldn't speak a word of theirs and they could speak a like a word of my, of my language. And yet everyone loved it, everyone reacted. It was a really special performance. Oh, I can only yeah. imagine. All right, it's time to find out if Penn and Teller know how you did your trick. All right, great. Hey, Dev. Hi. Boy, uh, really nice. You did that thing we love in magic where you do um, three sections that look like they're the same subject, same plot, same ideas, but totally different methods. Mm. And that's always a really good way to fool. Yeah. And uh, there's a, uh, I think you are familiar with our uh, good friends, uh, Count Elmsley. Oh, yeah. I think Absolutely. you've heard of him. And yeah. Senor Scanio, I think you've also. Yeah, uh, I yeah, know yeah. him as well. You're yes. probably two of our friends you've, you've yeah. bumped into now and again. Lovely people. And there was a symmetry to your act and the way things were laid out that was yes. uh, really beautiful, the way, the way that comes back in. And uh, the idea of the inner critic was very good. You're very rough on yourself with the inner critic, <laughs> but then it was a smooth performance all the way Ooh, through. Thank you. Really, really, really nice and a really nice idea. And we hope in all of that that we, uh, we gave you enough slid in there. I don't want to give oh, away yeah. too. Oh, good. Totally. Good. Absolutely. Okay, Got so it. you didn't fool them. Nah, I didn't fool them. Oh, well, thank you so no, thank you. much, you Dev much. Sherman. Thank you.